Hello everyone and welcome back to another crayfish crawfish boil. Uh, I was out last weekend, caught a you know a couple hundred of them and uh, we're just going to do a smaller boil and this time here I'm not going to add corn stuff like that. I'm going to add sausage. I can, you can see what I have here. The lemons, the limes. If you want to see everything that I put into it the first time watch my first video on uh, my boil and uh, I had comments from other people mine wasn't salty enough so this time I am going to add a whole entire container of Old Bay, which was one of the suggestions. Um, otherwise I'm going to use the Zatarans, just one uh, bag this time because I have a smaller amount of crayfish I'm doing. But anyway, this is pretty much just to see if the taste gets any better. Okay, so here we have our 8 pounds of Lucky Contestants here. Uh, a little bit under 8 pounds, so we're going to get the water boiling and get our spices uh, all put in the water. Okay, so one of the suggestions is with the lemon and stuff, I should squeeze these first, then throw them in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with the lemons and the limes, and then we'll dump the rest in. Well, that looks more like the color you see when you watch the videos. Alright, so we're out to the garden here. I do have a nice head of broccoli and some smaller ones, which I can't believe I even got these off the garden. These were doing so horrible. Anyway, I'm going to pick these and I'm going to throw them in also. I got a suggestion that I maybe try throwing a few beans in there, so I'm going to give that a try too. If these guys don't start quieting down, I'm going to put them in the boil. You guys hush up now. Okay, so I have some sausage, some uh, broccoli, some beans and the potatoes and stuff that's in there now, and that's all I'm going to do this time. I will say this much, with that Old Bay seasoning in there, that thing smells completely different than it did last time. It smells really good. Just remember now, this is a condensed version because we're trying for a different taste. If you want to see how I did this whole thing in detail, you can watch that longer video on my first crayfish crawfish boil. We'll just let that sit there and boil until those potatoes get just to, just start to get tender and then we'll throw in the crayfish. Somebody did suggest that I put, um, a couple people suggested they put a full six pack of beer in with their boil also. And I thought about it, but it was over 90 degrees today, and I work outside, and I had six beers in the fridge, and then I grabbed one, and it was ice cold, so I was like, screw that. If I drink them, it'll probably help with the taste just as much. <laughs> Eventually, I am going to try to put beer in here, though, just to see if it gives it any more of a full body type of taste. We'll see. Okay, so I just checked the potatoes, and they are just starting to get soft, so now we're going to add the great fish. Just so everybody knows, I didn't purge these prior to doing this. I showed it in the other video. But now we're just going to bring this back up to a boil. And once it starts to boil, we're going to count 15 minutes. Alright, so it just started to boil right now. So now I'm just going to wait. Like I said, we're going to boil that for about 15 minutes. But we're just going to wait for 5 minutes and then we're going to throw this stuff in because all the broccoli and beans that cook real fast, the sausage is already cooked, that'll just has, needs to be heated up and absorb some of them spices. Okay everyone, well time's up. Uh, it's been uh, boiling for 15 minutes. At five minutes we put in all the other little side dishes and now it's time to shut it down. Alright everyone, well it's been 20 minutes. Now it's time to get these drained and dumped out.
Okay, everyone, well, there it is. It looks really good, but we'll see. We'll let that cool down a little bit and give it a try. All right, everyone, me and my super taste tester, Sarah, are going to give these a try. Like she just said, she does not know Louisiana, so she doesn't know what she's missing, but um, well, she did eat some of the other ones and liked them. Ooh, they're hot. Yeah, they are. They're better. They are better. I still could use more salt though, but they are better once they sit for a while too. Like, you know, once they're in the refrigerator. Yeah. They seem better, but. I don't know how to say how they're better though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's try some broccoli. Okay, let's try some broccoli. There you can get some heat. Yeah. Oh, you Ooh. Can. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wow, so it's in there. It's not too bad though. No, it's not. It's just about right. Yep. Enough to make it warm, but your forehead, well, it might sweat if you eat a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> mm, good though. I like it a lot. Yeah, I do too. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, still not Louisiana, but we're working on it. All right, everyone. Well, Sarah and I just sat down there and ate uh, a bunch more of these and... They are really good this time. Um, much better than the last time, even though the last time they were good. But anyway, um, we like these a lot better. The broccoli, Sarah, really like that, really absorbed the flavor. So uh, please comment, please subscribe. Um, your comments help me. I mean, I had all kind of tips to do this one here. And uh, I'm looking forward to more comments.